Raise it or lower it. Okay, it's pretty good. Good. Can you feel the stretch in your arms and your leg, right? Good. Head neutral. Good. And then stretch with the other leg. So obviously she could do this without holding on. Yeah. She would just be, at, you know, doing this and then going forward. Okay, that's a very, that stretch that they would know. I like this right now because it stretches their shoulders while they stretch that, which you need at the same time for a bridge. So that's the reason I like this. But I can hold their arms like you do. Yep. Okay. So that would be very, very easy. Okay. Another stretch, which is an aggressive stretch, we're going to do, let's do it on the padded here. You're going to, um, and again, this would be only when you're very warmed up. You're going to come here and you are going to lay down like this. Remember to redo these with you guys? Maybe not. With your group. Okay, so you're going to go on your knees like this. And you're going to put your hands here. And you're just going to go back a little bit. Can you feel that muscle a little bit? Yeah. Here, scoot more forward. A little bit more, and I'll go back so we're not creepy. We're like, I said, we're like this close. It's like awkward. Okay, good. So go back a little bit, good, like that, and pull. This is called keeping your hips open. In gymnastics, your body's going to be going back. A lot of kids will be sitting. This is keeping your hip flexors open, straight, okay? And if they're tight, so you're going to go back, good. Head is neutral, though. Head is neutral. And then I'm going to have you go back all the way. Good, good, good. Is that okay? Just breathe. Notice how I have this is a very aggressive stretch. We did it after she was warmed up. She's sitting, her butt is on her heels. She's not on the side. So it almost has to be like that. Yes. Can you feel that stretch? Okay. And then what I do is keep your head down. I try to push your shoulders like and their tummies down like this. I, this is an aggressive stretch, but it pulls them. And then you're going to come to your side. This leg stays straight. And then grab this leg. Good. Can you feel that? Yeah. So she can feel it. On the record, she nodded yes. <laughs> okay, so this, but we don't want it high. We want it down low and back and open like this. It's a flexor like that. And then take a deep breath. We'll roll on the other side. Smile right here. Thank you. Good. So you're going to. Grab this. This hand can be out like that. And then lay down. This foot is sort of straightened out. We do not want that up high. We want it low and back. And that's, you know, I'm not going to do it on her, but that hip flexor is right around there. So what I would do is I would grab it and then pull it forward a little bit. Head down, relax. Can you feel that? Which side's tighter, this leg or the other? Okay. Because she's left handed out of it. Good. Shake it out. Now I want you to do bridge. Uh, she told you not to do it that yeah. way. <laughs> I think it's the big girls. They just think it looks cool because that's the way the yeah, big girls Yeah, it looks like a Valdez. Like this is yeah. one, there's a, yeah. Uh, but I, good. Now rock back and forth. See her legs look looser to me and she has more range of motion. Do you see how she's rocking yeah. back more a little bit now? Mm -hmm. That helped a lot for her. Look at your hands. Even while she's looking at her hands, her range of motion is a little bit more. So that was a very aggressive stretch, but that's going to help you tremendously, okay? So right now we did dynamic kicking like with the band, which I like. I like that probably better than the weight, an ankle weight, but I would also use ankle weights. And, okay. You know, like kicking with a very, very light weight, which we'll probably do a little bit. Uh, we work through our splits, getting our hips straight, working our wrists, getting the shoulder blades back for your bridge. These are called your staples. If we get your body, because you're very strong, uh, having this range of motion, you'll get your skills much easier. It won't be as frustrating or whatever. Uh, what I want you to do now is I want you to stand up and do a bridge for me. So I want to, like, I'll hold you, like, you know, so, like, if you would go and then do a bridge. Good. and then rock back and forth, good. Good, and then come forward and do a pike stretch, like lay down, yeah, and then do a pike stretch, good girl. Okay, so if I'm looking at her body now for working out wise to help her flexibility, she needs her middle back right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Um, 
I'm going to bring something over, and she could usually do it with, um, you could just do it with a band. You don't need, well, I can, let's just do it with a band. And let's see if I, a lighter band maybe for her. I can do it this yellow one. Either way, you don't need this big thing here, honey. But you're going to sit down like that, and you're going to, now don't let go of it. We've got to both hold on. We're going to grab onto that. Legs are straight. And you're going to just row it back to your, like bring it into your chest. Yeah, like that. Shoulder blades back. Like that. Now, good. Lock the knees and press your legs on. Good. And then forward. Good. Okay. Good. I want shoulder blades back. Good. Like that. What we're doing is we're doing any type of rowing to help develop her middle back, to help her open up her shoulders. So one more, good, and then, good, just, we'll both let go. Turn towards the video. Turn around this way now, this way, your back. We're gonna try it, and I'm gonna just have you pretend if you didn't have that at home, if you grab, grab the two bands, grab the two ends, wrap it around your hand a little bit. Like that, and you're gonna do the same thing in row. Okay, let's see. Okay, go. You you don't want to lean back. You want to go like yeah. You want to get your shoulder. You don't want to lean back, close shoulders. So are her shoulder blades open? Can you see them? Yeah, they yeah, are like there. that. I don't want. Yeah, I want the shoulder blades like that. Good. So the more she develops the middle back, like you can see on the video, the easier that muscle is gonna help her bring her arms back. It opens the shoulders because she's very close shoulders and she'll become more and more. Gymnasts are all close shoulders. She'll kick, she'll go more and more, but if she develops her back, she'll be able to pull her shoulders back. Good, and it'll help her range of motion. Three more, one, good. Two, and three, good job. Deep breath, lay down and do a bridge again. Good, rock back and forth, good, good, good. Anytime after we do any type of stretching, I always get them to do a little bit of like a bridge or something that would be like for their actual, uh, go ahead and grab a little water of their